first of all, these storms are, uh, when we have storms, it's in our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So that's gas. Yeah. We rotate once a day. Mm -hmm. And so that rotation creates a, what we call a Coriolis force. Jupiter, the colossal gas giant in our solar system, holds many enigmatic secrets that baffle scientists and astronomers. As we explore this mysterious world, we must first grasp the sheer scale of Jupiter. It's over a thousand times the size of Earth, boasting a rapid rotation that completes a day in just under 10 hours. This giant's atmosphere is a swirling masterpiece of colors, with horizontal stripes that mesmerize the eye. But amidst the wonders of Jupiter's clouds lies a puzzle that has intrigued experts and casual observers. Notably, Neil deGrasse Tyson, in a thought-provoking discussion, questioned the endurance of Jupiter's relentless storms, like the iconic Great Red Spot, which has persisted for over three centuries. Why do these storms last so long, defying the norms of our own planet's weather systems? Join us on this journey as we explore Jupiter's turbulent secrets and uncover the answers to these questions. Let's break down this question step by step, shall we? First shard, utilizing NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have unveiled a swift 320 miles per hour jet stream situated approximately 25 miles above Jupiter's equator within the lower stratosphere. Positioned just above the tropospheric hazes that separate atmospheric layers, this high-speed jet was discerned thanks to Webb's distinctive capacity to capture data from higher altitudes. What's the secret behind these tempestuous whirlwinds raging on Jupiter for centuries? Well, let's put that into perspective. Imagine a planet over 1,000 times the size of our Earth, spinning at a breakneck pace of once every 10 hours and made primarily of gas. Jupiter, the colossal gas giant, presents a uniquely complex atmosphere. Shard 2, the Great Red Spot. This massive storm, lasting for over 350 years, is an icon in Jupiter's turbulent skies. Why does it persist without a break? To answer this, let's consider Earth's weather systems with hurricanes that last for weeks. Now, imagine Jupiter, 10 times wider than Earth, with a ferocious Coriolis force due to its rapid rotation. It's no surprise that storms here can endure for centuries. Let's introduce Neil deGrasse Tyson's perspective, which adds another layer to this cosmic puzzle. In a fascinating discussion, Neil Tyson pointed out the doubtful nature of these storms on Jupiter, highlighting the difference in scale and the role of Coriolis forces. On Earth, storms are relatively short-lived, whereas Jupiter, a giant among planets, boasts storms that span centuries. Shard 3, Webb's Unique Perspective the James Webb Space Telescope offers an extraordinary view into Jupiter's atmospheric intricacies. It peers into higher altitude layers, 15 to 30 miles above the planet's cloud tops, providing a view of Jupiter like no other. This unique vantage point helps identify finer details within the bright equatorial band. Air that moves from one latitude to another actually has its direction deflected of this Coriolis force and this is why storms rotate in one direction counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. As Neil Tyson emphasized, the Coriolis force responsible for deflection in Earth's storms is amplified on Jupiter due to its rapid rotation and massive size. To understand the secrets of these enduring storms, we need to appreciate the colossal scale of Jupiter and the powerful forces at play in its atmosphere. Shard 4, A Speedy Revelation The newfound high-speed jet stream discovered by Webb travels at a staggering speed of 320 miles per hour, twice the sustained winds of a Category 5 hurricane on Earth. Situated around 25 miles above Jupiter's clouds, within the lower stratosphere, this jet stream plays a crucial role in the planet's dynamic weather. Now, 
Connecting Neil Tyson's insights, imagine a storm that lasts for centuries, fueled by this high-speed jet stream, which can outpace the fiercest earthly hurricanes. It's a testament to the colossal forces at play on Jupiter, turning it into a cosmic storm machine. Shard 5, Revealing the Three-Dimensional Storm Cloud Structure Webb's exceptional resolution and broad wavelength coverage have facilitated the detection of small cloud features for tracking the jet stream and enabled a comprehensive understanding of Jupiter's equatorial atmosphere. The simultaneous observations from Hubble, taken one day after Webb's observations, have been vital in establishing the base state of Jupiter's tropical atmosphere and monitoring the development of convective storms not connected to the jet stream. The research team is eager to continue their observations of Jupiter with the James Webb Space Telescope. They hope to determine whether the jet's speed and altitude change over time. The observations also help validate theories related to the oscillating stratospheric pattern of Jupiter. As Neil Tyson hinted, studying Jupiter's storms is an ongoing adventure, and future discoveries await us. So, as we wrap up this journey into the heart of Jupiter's storms, remember that the mysteries of the cosmos continue to unfold before our eyes, and the James Webb Space Telescope remains our faithful guide in this exploration. Whether it's a planet like Jupiter or a distant celestial body, each discovery brings us closer to understanding the vast universe surrounding us. In the end, we are left with an awe-inspiring view of Jupiter, a world of endless storms, and the James Webb Space Telescope's incredible capacity to reveal our solar system's hidden secrets. As we await further discoveries, the questions about Jupiter's storms persist, and we'll be there to continue this incredible journey. So, stay tuned for more cosmic revelations, and let the universe's wonders continue to amaze and inspire us all.